So Caden got a bunch of Christmas gifts and they started making messes all over the house the next morning. Destiny hates when the house is messy, so she told Caden to clean up after himself. A few minutes later, she went into his playroom to check on him. And of course he made another mess. She couldn't believe it. How does one kid make such a huge mess so fast? So while I'm trying to fix things around the house, she tells me to do something about it. Follow my page in three seconds to find out what I did. So I went into the room and pretended to yell at Caden because I knew Destiny was listening at the door. After she left, I helped Caden make an even bigger mess. When she came back in the room, Room, we yell surprise but she wasn't happy in fact she didn't say anything she just left the house So one day, Kaden had the bright idea to check out how smart I was. He gathered up some of my favorite magazines and books, spread them out on a kitchen table, and put a few tricky riddles inside for me to solve. When I came downstairs, I noticed a pile of magazines and books with their pages opened up. I asked Kaden what it all meant, but instead of answering directly, he just smiled as if he had something up his sleeve. Filled with curiosity, I started flipping through the pages looking for clues as to what it all meant. Subscribe to my channel in three seconds to find out what I've been looking for. I found three riddles written on a piece of paper in between one of the books. Riddle one, what has four legs but can't walk? I answered, uh, a chair? And Kaden gave me a thumbs up. Riddle two, what has four eyes but can't see? I said, a potato? And Kaden gave me another thumbs up. Riddle three, if a child thinks their dad is stupid, who's to blame? I answered, <laughs> probably their mother. And Kaden started clapping. After solving each riddle correctly, to Kaden's surprise, he gave me a hug and said, I don't care what mom says, I think you're pretty smart. I looked at Destiny and left the house. So I recently had an experience that made me realize how much of a big baby I can be. It all started when Destiny and I were playing chess. I was so sure I would win that I was already planning my victory speech. Unfortunately, Destiny had other plans and ended up beating me. I wasn't happy about it at all, letting out a huge well of anguish and frustration. Destiny couldn't help but laugh and call me a big baby. So I stormed out the house and went to the grocery store and realized I had forgotten my wallet at home. After searching through every pocket and frantically checking around the car, it was clear that the wallet wasn't there. I got back in the car and started started crying. Big fat tears were streaming down my face and I was pounding the steering wheel in frustration. When I got home, I realized I left the house key inside and that's when I couldn't take it anymore. I started stomping and yelling, having a temper tantrum when Destiny suddenly opened up the door. I'm having a bad day, a real, real bad day. She just shook her head and said, you're such a big baby. Subscribe to my channel in three seconds to turn me back into a man. Thank you, thank you. So I've been trying to get my son Caden to learn the piano since he was a baby so he can follow in my footsteps and become a musician. But whenever I tried to teach him, he would either joke around or run away. I even put pianos in different rooms hoping he'd start playing them, but nothing helped. I was upset, but I stopped trying, especially when he said he didn't like music and didn't want to play the piano anymore. But one day, I came home early from a business trip and I heard some beautiful piano playing coming from the living room. I thought the music was coming from the TV, but to my surprise, it was Caden playing the piano. I was stunned and asked him when he learned how to play and he said that he's been playing since he was a baby only when i wasn't around i asked destiny if she knew and she said of course she did at that moment i felt like i didn't even know my own family so i left the house So my friend and I made a football bet. If my team lost, I have to take my wife out on a fake date. I didn't want to do it because one thing Destiny doesn't play about is her food. So I woke her up and told her I was taking her out to lunch. She got out of bed with a quickness and I said, oh man, here we go. As I was getting ready, I watched her pull out her best outfit and do her makeup. I felt really bad and tried to back out of the bet, but Bernard said, a bet's a bet, you gotta do it. Before I knew it, she was ready and there was no turning back. So we go to the car and at this point, she's super excited. Then I blindfolded her so she wouldn't see where we were going and took her for a nice spin around the fountain. When we got back, I took her out the car, through our gate and up the stairs to the surprise location. Once we were seated, I told her to remove her blindfold and she was not happy. She was so mad, she threw a marshmallow at me. Then she stood up and walked back in the house leaving me all by myself. But little did I know, she left me for real. Look at this, John. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, this I'm telling you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, you, you scared? Nah, I ain't scared. Are you scared? Nah, I ain't scared. Oh, okay. I've been camping every day since I was like one years old. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Shh, me too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh look at you. What, you scared? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, okay. Bernard, can you hand me that extra tart? Bernard? Yo, Bernard. What's up? Woo -hoo -hoo. Man. You scared? I ain't scared, man. All right. You know, Dez, I got the... 
Ooh, watch out. Watch what, out. What, what are you doing? You want to see all these spiders, man? Whoa, you scared? No. Oh. <clears throat> I'm good. Oh, okay. Is this thing on? I'm all alone. I have no idea what Bernard is. Not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared. And I feel like I'm being watched. Ah! Ah! Please don't hurt me! Please! 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 <laughs> you scared? No! Yes, I'm scared. I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared. <laughs> Let me tell you about the time my school bully spent the night at my house. So when I was in school on a random Friday, I asked my friends if they wanted to spend the night. Of course they said yeah, and we were about to have so much fun. But then all of a sudden, Brayton the school bully said, Oh, so you're not gonna invite me to the sleepover? I looked at my friends and they were telling me not to invite them. So I lied and said I didn't have enough sleeping bags. Well then I guess I'm gonna take your bed. Huh, see you tonight, little boy. I didn't think much of it because Brayton didn't know where I lived, so I knew he wasn't coming. That evening, we were having a great time, and then my doorbell rung, and it was Brayton! He came right in and started eating up all the pizza. He kept on cheating when we were playing pool, and anytime he got excited, he would punch us for no reason. All of my friends made excuses to leave, and they left me alone with Brayton. By that time, I just wanted to go to sleep, so I threw Brayton a sleeping bag. And do you know what he said to me? Now you take that. I'm sleeping in your bed tonight, little boy. Let me tell you about the time my dad got banned from the car wash. So my dad loved keeping his car clean. He kept it so clean, he got compliments everywhere he went. Whoa, that car is clean! <laughs> Thank you. Nah, nah, that car is clean! And you know it is! Well, my dad would vacuum out his car about three times a day, and suddenly the vacuum stopped working. So we went to the car wash. My dad was already upset about his vacuum, but he was even angrier at the price of the vacuum at the car wash. A dollar? To vacuum my own car? This is when things got bad. Every time my dad would put money in a machine, when he would start vacuuming, the machine would say, Time's up. Insert more coins. He was going back and forth. Back and forth. Until he got mad at the machine. Time's up. Insert more coins. Come on now. I just put some more coins in. You don't have any more money? Then get out of here. Who you think you talking to? My dad started Ouch. beating up the machine Ouch. until the manager came out and banned him. I was just leaving anyways. I shouldn't have to pay for no vacuum. The best things in life are free. So I remember the first time I drove like it was yesterday. My driving test was in a few weeks, so my dad wanted me to practice a little more. All right, don't be scared. Give it a little gas. My dad could tell that I was nervous, but overall, I was doing okay. Well, at least I thought I was. Oh, no, you didn't. Why didn't you stop at that stop sign? The stop sign he was talking about was in our development, and nobody ever stopped there. Not even him. Sorry, Dad. I watched you and Mom drive past it every day, so I thought it was okay. Oh, you trying to be smart? I guess you don't want to drive today, huh? Pull over. No, Dad, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go ahead, boy. After that, I was making sure that I followed every rule. But I guess I got a little too comfortable, too, because I ran a red light. Oh, pull over. Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't even see the light. Oh, uh -huh, I don't want to hear that. The reason why you not stop stopping is because you too busy pop locking. Look at me when I'm talking to you. If you're happy. Yeah.